when I was uh, conscious, I'd keep talking to myself, <clears throat> telling myself to relax. And then when I heard the chopper, I was oh, instantly more relaxed. Yeah, I knew that they would. They knew what they were doing as soon as they got there. Took over, made Dave comfortable, gave him pain relief. Um, I don't remember the actual accident. I remember Tamara coming to my side and I think rolling me over and then moving my arm, not, not feeling my arms. Mm. So that's when I knew I was in trouble. Uh, and then on my back, I think I just kept talking to myself, telling myself to calm down, relax, it's all right, I can still breathe. Uh, <clears throat> and then I'd drift off and then come back again, talk to Tamara. Well, I guess um, I knew of Careflight's existence and the work they did, but have never been involved, obviously. And then um, being a part of a rescue and having them literally save my life has really affected me. And then learning how many rescue missions they do a day. They might do four in a day, four or five in different areas, mm. back and forth, um, doing transfers and into hospital transfers and so forth just an amazing crew and knowing that so many people were there to help me and it cost so much money like it really does cost a lot of money to keep those rescues happening so yeah first of all when I was out of hospital I wanted to go down and thank the, the care flight crew in person and then um, support them financially I, can, I can honestly say that if it wasn't for care flight rescuing me that day I, w I wouldn't have made it um, because of my accident, the spinal cord damage I had up at C3, um, I was paralysed from there down. Uh, by the time I arrived in hospital, my right diaphragm was totally paralysed, and it was only moments after I arrived in um, the emergency department that I stopped breathing, and I was intubated. So it was good timing. Without care flight, I wouldn't be here.